Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, this week we are going to be looking at uh, a response to this cry, Help, I've lost my voice. Welcome once again and I want to ask you this question, how is your voice today? Is it loud and clear and strong or is it uh, weak? Uh, has it become a whisper and barely inaudible? Of course, we are not talking about our natural voice, our speaking ability, but about our voice of influence and impact. You know, as believers in the Lord Jesus, it is our privilege and joy that the Lord has called us to be a voice. He has in fact given us this identity as the light of this world and the salt of the earth. And this is what he says when we read in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13, it says, You are the salt of the earth. And if the salt loses its flavor, how can the salt be seasoned? So we are the salt of the earth. And the salt, just like how salt has the ability to influence the food in which it is mixed or sprinkled, so also we are called to influence the environment in which we are in. Uh, influence the people with whom we come in contact with or have relationships with uh, for their good with the gospel of Jesus Christ. So it's important to note that the way we live our life speaks very loudly to others. Uh, it is a voice. The way we live our life, our lifestyle, it is a voice carrying a very clear message. And this message can encourage influence and impact people for good. So how do we lose this voice of influence and impact? Um, here are some things. You know, when our thoughts, words, actions, in other words, our choices, our lifestyle, when it does not match with what we say we believe or what we profess to believe, when these two things do not match, in other words, our words, and our actions do not match, then it becomes inauthentic. So our voice becomes inauthentic. Secondly, when we distance ourselves from the Lord Himself who has given us this identity and who has given us this call, when we distance ourselves, when we do not spend time in His presence with the Word and with in prayer and worship, then our voice becomes powerless. Even though we might be saying things, it becomes powerless to influence. And uh, also, thirdly, when we distance ourselves from the people uh, to whom the Lord has called and uh, to, to be an influence, to whom the Lord has called uh, for us to be the light, when we distance ourselves, then our voice becomes irrelevant. So it could be irrelevant it could become powerless, it could become inauthentic. Um, but right now, it's time to reclaim our voice. You know, if you're crying out saying, help, I've lost my voice of influence and impact. Um, what should I do? Then it's time to reclaim that voice because God has given us, God has called us um, to be a voice. Right? So uh, we need to become authentic, be authentic. May our words and our actions line up. In other words, we're saying that what we say is what we mean and what we mean is what we carry out or do. Uh, our life and our choices and how we, what we say we believe, uh, let there be no mismatch. Be authentic. And uh, secondly, be powerful. Don't neglect the time of worship and time in, uh, and time in the Word and prayer. Thirdly, be relevant, build bridges, be relatable, reach out to others, witness. So when we do this, we reclaim our voice of influence and impact. Shall we pray? Father God, we pray for those of us who have, whose voice has become weak, whose voice of influence and impact has, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a challenge there, there's a problem there. And Lord, we pray that uh, may we reclaim our voice, may we reclaim that call an identity that you've given us, God. And I just pray, Lord, even as we make these things intentional in our lives, Lord, we pray that um, we will be a voice of influence and we will be a voice that will impact those around us with the gospel. 
with your light in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org